How do you simplify rational expressions with binomials? That's what we're going to talk about today. This video is brought to you by the Team Leica Review Books. More about these later. Hi there and welcome to Team Leica, where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And since most exams include basic algebra, this is a topic that's very important for you to learn. This is actually part two of our series on simplifying rational expressions. So if you haven't seen part one yet, go ahead and watch that first because the same na principles, the same concept ay gagamitin natin dito at baka mahiiwan kayo kapag hindi nyo pa yan napapanood. Okay? If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa nating videos. I'm also going to start doing live stream IRL sessions soon. So don't forget to subscribe para hindi nyo yan mamiss. Okay? Let's start with something simple. You have 5a plus 5 all over 25a plus 25. Now, ang una natin kailangan gawin is to make sure that we factor these out completely. Pag sinabi natin na factor natin sila out, ibig sabihin wala ng shared factor dun sa dalawa and nailabas na natin sila lahat or nahiwalay na natin sila. Let me demonstrate that. Let's start with yung nasa taas. You have 5a plus 5. Now, dito, dahil merong 5 dito at meron ding 5 dito, obvious na common factor nila ang 5. So, pwede ko tong isulat as 5 times, now, ano ba ang minumultiply ko sa 5 para maging 5a? E di syempre, yung a. Tapos, ano naman ang minultiply ko sa 5 para maging positive 5? E di 1 lang. That would be plus 1 right here. Now, this is the part na yung iba ay nakakalimutan. Bakit? Kasi, nakita nila itong 5 na to, nakalimutan na nila ilagay yung plus 1. Kaya, be very careful doon. Again, kung naglabas lang ako ng isang number dito, 1, 2, binomial ito, binomial din dapat yung minultiply ko doon sa factor na yun. Now, tapos na tayo sa taas, doon naman tayo sa ilalim. We have 25a plus 25. May pagkakahawig ito dahil pareho naman yung kanyang numerical coefficient, kumbaga, or yung number nitong dalawa. So, ibig sabihin nun, pwede ko rin ilabas yung 25. Tapos, ano ang multiply ko sa 25 para maging 25a? That would be a. Ano multiply ko sa 25 para maging positive 25? Plus 1 lang din. Now, now that we have this, we can just cancel ko ano yung pareho. At dahil yung 5 at 25 ay parehong divisible sa 5, yun nga lang, yung 25 is actually 2 5s. Makakancel ko lamang ay isang... 5. So, maiiwan sa ilalim yung isang 5. Now, sa taas, meron akong quantity A plus 1. Meron din nun sa ilalim. So, pwede ko rin itong i-cancel sa taas at sa ibaba. Which means, this will just be 1. So, sa itaas, ang maiiwan na lang ay 1. At sa ilalim, yung 5 na yan, dahil multiply ko lang siya sa 1, 5 na lang din siya. So, ang final answer natin, 1 over 5 na lang. So again, it's really easy. It's just that you have to take it step by step. Maging maingat sa pagka-factor, maging maingat sa pagka-cancel. Let's try another one. This is a great opportunity for me to introduce the Team Leica Review box. And yes, box siya. Kasi we have the practice test booklets. Booklets kasi ang katumbas niya ay apat na booklets or apat na sets ng aptitude tests. Each set already has math language, analytical reasoning, and general information questions. Of course, the answer key, answer sheets, so you can practice shading. At more than that, an exclusive QR code that you can scan para makita ninyo kung paano ko sinasolve ang mga problems na ito. It includes discussions on some super secret techniques that I use para siguraduhin makatipid ng oras sa exam. At syempre, makapasa. You also have the workbook number one, hindi siya multiple choice questions, pero it's designed to practice your skills. Para naman ready ng ka sa fundamentals mo. Skills, techniques, and it's best to use them together. If you're interested, go ahead and message us sa m.me slash teamlaika to figure out how we can get these to you. So baka bumili na at bibili pa maraming salamat sa inyo. Thank you for helping me help more people by buying these. Kasi these help us fund what we do here sa channel na to. Kung hindi dahil sa inyo, it'll be harder for me to make all these free content. So thank you sa inyong lahat. And now, back to the video. Ito ay a minus 4 all over 3a squared minus 12a. In this case, yung a minus 4, wala na tayong magagawa dyan kasi wala na silang shared na factor. Pero yung ilalim, meron kang 3a squared minus 12a, una kong ihihiwalay would be yung 3. Kasi yung 3 na yan, 
ay pwede kong kunin dun sa 12 kasi ang 12 ay 4 times 3 rin. Which means, pwede kong isulat sa ilalim yung 3. Now, this is the point where your teacher would say, tapos next, titira mo yung A. Pero para lang mas visual, ihiwalay natin yung pagkakasulat. We have 3 times A squared minus 4A. Now, dito doon sa natitira sa loob, makikita nyo, meron pa ring A doon sa left and sa right. Which means, pwede ko rin ilabas yung A. So, ang mangyayari, ilang A ang pwede kong ilabas? It would just be 1 kasi isang A lang naman ang na dito sa right. So, pwede kong itong isulat as A minus 4 ulit. And then you have your 3 A multiplied by Ano yung multiply ko sa A para lumabas ang A squared? That would be A. Ano yung multiply ko sa negative 4A para lumabas yung negative 4A? That would be minus 4. And now you have this. Now, of course, kung gusto mo i-check, pwede mo uling i-multiply yung 3A by A. Lalabas ba yung 3A squared? Yes. Pag multiply ko ba yung 3A sa negative 4, lalabas yung negative 12A? Yes. And now that we have that, pwede na natin i-cancel yung pareho sa taas at sa ibaba. You have A minus 4 sa taas, A minus 4 sa baba. So the answer here is actually 1 over 3A. Okay? Alright, now the best way for you to figure out kung nakuha nyo talaga is through a quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Number 1, x plus 1 over 2x plus 2. Yung x plus 1, wala na tayong magagawa dyan. Wala na tayong mailalabas dyan, kundi 1. So, we'll just focus on yung nasa ilalim. Yung 2x plus 2, may 2 ka dito, may 2 ka dyan. Which means, pwede ko siyang ilabas. So, kung isusulat ko uli, x plus 1 over, and now you have 2 times, ano yung multiply ko sa 2 para maging 2x? That would be x. Ano yung multiply ko sa 2 para maging plus 2? Or positive 2, that would be positive 1. So now, pwede na tayo mag-cancel yung x plus 1 sa taas at x plus 1 sa ilalim. Maka-cancel sila. So ang magiging sagot is just 1 over 2 or 1 half. Did you get that right? Okay, next tayo. Question number 2, 2a minus 10 all over 5a minus 25. Sa itaas, nakikita natin dito yung shared factor nila. 2 and 10, pareho silang even number, which means you can divide both of them by 2. Kung mabagal kayo sa factoring or dun sa pag-figure out if divisible by number o hindi, meron akong full series on divisibility rules that you may want to watch kasi doon, in-explain ko yung mga tricks para malaman nyo if a number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, hanggang I think 11 yata yun. Okay, so watch that first. Anyway, here, we could split yung 10 sa 5 and 2. Which means, pwede kong ilabas yung 2 dito. At anong kailangan kong i-multiply sa 2 para maging 2a? That would be a. Anong kailangan kong i-multiply sa 2 para maging negative 10? That would be minus 5. Tapos, sa ilalim naman, you have 5 and 25. Ang 25 is 5 times 5. Which means, pwede kong maglabas ng isang 5 sa ilalim. So, this will be 5. Multiplied by, anong kailangan ko i-multiply sa 5 para maging 5a? That would be a. Anong kailangan ko i-multiply sa 5 para maging negative 25? That would be negative 5. Pwede tayo mag-cancel ng pareho. We have a minus 5 sa taas, a minus 5 sa ilalim. Na ang matitira is 2 over 5. At dahil nasa lowest terms na yon, the answer would just be 2 over 5. Next, itaas natin yung level difficulty. Here you have 2x squared plus 14x all over 3x squared y plus 21xy. Now, bakit my y? Why my y? Don't worry about that. 
it's going to be the same process na ginawa natin kanina. And of course, we're still going to apply yung mga concepts na natutunan na natin doon sa part 1. Sa taas muna tayo, 2 and 14. Ang 14 is 7 times 2, which means pwede kong ilabas yung 2 rito. Yung x naman, may x dito, may x din dito. At dahil isa lang yung nasa right side, mas marami yung 2 sa 1, isang x lang din ang ilalabas ko. Now that I have that, ano kailangan ko i-multiply sa 2x para maging 2x squared? That would be x. Ano kailangan ko i-multiply sa 2x para maging 14x? That would be positive 7. Now, of course, kung i-check natin yan, tama ba yan? 2x times x is 2x squared? Yes. 2x times 7 is 14x? Yes. Dito na tayo sa ilalim. Dito na tayo sa ilalim. Here you have 3 and 21. Ang 21 is 7 times 3. Dahil may 3 sa left, may 3 sa right, big sin pwede ko ilabas yung 3. Doon naman sa x, meron akong x squared at x dito, which means pwede ako maglabas ng isang x. At doon sa y, meron akong y dito sa left, may y din ako sa right, which also means pwede ko siyang ilabas. 3xy. And now, We'll figure out kung ano multiply ko sa 3xy para lumabas yung 3x squared y. At dahil ang nawawala lang dyan ay yung isang x to make x squared, this will just be x. Doon naman sa 21xy, ang kailangan kong gawin is to multiply 3xy by 7. Which means, I could start canceling na. May x plus 7 sa taas, may x plus 7 sa baba. Maka-cancel sila pareho. May x sa itaas dito sa labas. May x dito sa labas. Maka-cancel din sila. Pero dahil yung 2 over 3, wala na tayo magagawa dyan. At walang y sa itaas, nakapares yung y sa ilalim. Ang magiging sagot na natin would be yung natitira. You have 2 sa itaas over 3y sa ilalim. The answer is 2 over 3y. Now, I hope you got that right. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my other social media accounts, so don't forget to follow me there. And again, we are going to keep creating content for you, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon. At sa lahat ng channel members natin, channel sponsors natin, thank you so much for supporting this channel. You are part of the reason why I can keep making content. It's not easy, it's not cheap to keep the lights on sa operation ito. Yeah, I appreciate all of you. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Now, this is just part 2 ng series na ito. May part 3 pa tayo coming up next. So again, I'll see you sa susunod na video na yan. As we always say, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.